Ted Morgan and his gang last night. They robbed the express office. Did they get the mine payroll? No, I've got that in my bank, but they'll be after it next. We've got to find somebody to run these hoodlums out of town. There must be someone that... I got it. Look. We've got to print this picture in the paper and, and say that there are three famous marshals coming to clean up the town. It might work. And give me time to get rid of the payroll. That's right. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. What's that? Ah! Oh. 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 Here you are, gentlemen. Abdul's Cactus Remedy cures every ailment known to man or beast. Only one dollar. Hey, Bo, buy me a bottle. I can't sleep. What do you mean? You sleep 12 hours every night? Yeah, but I'm wide awake all day. Why? Oh. 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 Wait a minute. Oh. Now. Oh. Yes, folks, this world famous remedy. Hey, I, I've got to send a wire. Will you boys watch my show? Whatever you take in is yours. Boy, we're in business. Oh. Oh. Why? <laughs> you lunkheads, you broke all the bottles. Get in there and make some more while I do some spilling. I think you spilled enough already. I'll spill you. Get gone. <laughs> All right, here you are, folks, here you are. Abdul's Cactus Remedy. Good for hay fever, spotted fever, and buck fever. What a bargain for a buck. <laughs> a cure for colic and rickets. Brightens the teeth, shines your old silverware, and a definite cure for dandruff and lumbago. I'll take a bottle. Go away, son, you bother me. Uh, sorry, friend, I don't think it'd do you any good. You said it would cure lumbago, and I got it. Well, if you're going to stand on a technicality, I'll see my colleagues in the clinic. Do you know anything about mixing medicine, Doctor? Why, certainly, Professor. All you gotta do is mix a little of this and a little of that. Say, we got plenty of this. Then I'll try that. How about this? Yes, I'll try that. Pretty, pretty. Hmm. Here. Hmm. Why don't you make up your mind? You better put this in. My favorite color. <laughs> here, here. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh boy, that's hot stuff. That's what he needs for his lumbago. Here, bottle it. As I said before, folks, you can't afford to be without it. Hey! How about my bottle? And if it don't cure me? I was afraid of that. Lumbago! Lumbago! Oh! <laughs> there you are, Sheriff. No charge. That'll pick it right up. And lay you right down, too. <laughs> hears about this. I wonder when they get here. Say, partner, can you tell me where I can... Hey, Red, get a load of this. Wild Bill Hika. Why don't you change that face of yours? You scare people. Hey, Porter wanted. Looks like you guys are going to work. Make yourself presentable. 
Sticking up that bank. We can knock that bank over before they get here. Look, they're here already. Look. Come on. Who's the boss around here? Oh, uh, why? We're here to clean up the joint. Oh, well, now, now, take it easy, boys. Uh, uh, have a drink on me. Oh, sure. Certainly. Well, here's how. And how. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to drink that, not rub it in. Hello, tall, dark, and handsome. What do you say, Hika? Shall we trip the light fantastic? <laughs> I'd rather dance. Mm -hmm. You dance like you got your legs on backwards. <laughs> Stand aside. This is my dance. Oh. You know, you dance divinely. Oh, thanks. Get away. were phonies. I'll stop his hiccup. You're getting my hair. Now, let's see how good a shot you are. What that? With a gun. Ah! Sorry, I didn't know it was loaded. <laughs> Scared it to death. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, uh. Now remember, you men, you've been deputized to guard my bank. Protect it with your lives, or else. Right, 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 right there, right. right. All right. Try the door. Why you? You can't come in here. Why not? Well, can't you read? Open ten to three. Oh, we're sorry. We'll be back in the morning. Hey, hip, hip. All right, hey, hey. Left face, hey, hey. Oh. Your cabbage head, I said left face. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute, you. Give me that gun. There. Now, what did I say before? Right face. All right, this time I get left face. Right. Come here. Right face. How did that feel? What? That. Oh. <laughs> what was that? The bank. Come on. Oh. Hey, look! Clay mites! And big ones, too! Come on, we gotta get in. Come on. We're locked out! We'll have to use force, men. He! Who? Oh. Hey, y'all, folks, we got the... 
the robber! Or you'll rob my bank! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mush. You know, if we don't get that payroll back by tonight, they're gonna lynch us. Get him, boy. Pick up the trail. Oh, oh. Mush. Go get him, Mush. boy. Pick up the trail. Ow, ow. Mush. 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 Oh. Ow, ow. Right in the mush, mush. I'll murder him. <laughs> Go get him, boy. Mush. 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 That's it. Right in the mush. Give me that. <laughs> okay, strong heart. Got the scent. Nobody home. Let's look around. Search the joint. Spread out. Ooh. Peppermintis. Lay those straps down the path. Hurry up. <laughs> hey, we've been robbed. Find our truck. Hey! Kid, go back and get the dough. Hey! Oh, 
Somebody must be in there. Come on, let's break it down. Somebody got the dough. Yeah, we've been double-crossed. Take a look around. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe they hit at the stove. Come on. situation. The three ruffians about to appear before the court are in a fit way to wreck our empire. What sayest ye? Aye, your lordship. Only this morn these brigands attacked his majesty's guard and did them battle on the very threshold of the palace. Bring forth, young varlet. Time signal. 15 seconds before 11 a.m., baloney watch time. Shut us up. Order! Order! Order? I'll take a ham sandwich. Hold thy tongue. Not tongue, ham. Continue, counselor. Your lordship, these rogues do lay claim to be kin to the three musketeers. One for all. All for one. Every man for himself. Silence, ye knaves. Ye are accused of doing battle with his majesty's guard. What say ye to the charge? I can explain, Judge. You see it? It was like this, Ed. Guilty! I sentence ye to Newgate Prison for 40 years. Ye to 45. Ye to 50. 40? 45? 50? I got 50. 50. 50, 50, 50, 50. Do I hear 55? Do I hear 55? Going once, twice? Do I hear 55? Who will make it 55? I shall. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 55 years for the lot of ye at hard labor. But your lordship, it will cost the crown a pretty penny to feed yon wastrels for 55 years. Why not send them to our colonies in America to fight the red-skinned savage? Hmm. I just love corned beef and savage. Silence! I now sentence ye knaves to defend our colonists from the savages. Gadzooks, they'll scalp us alive. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Journey, gentlemen. The same, sire, to be. Last eve. So soon? I only one year in crossing. Well, well. Oh! 
Oh, we've come to see the governor. Be thou the governor's daughters. I, sir, I be faith. And this is hope. And this is charity. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wish the word with thee, my little charming wallflower. What doest thou? I saw her first. Tish posh and tish tosh. I'll never give up hope. Why dost thou not take charity? I need not charity. I'm on the WPA. WPA? Aye, Willing Pilgrims Association. Hmm. All my life I have been looking for a maid like thee. Toots? Oh, give us a break, kid. I'm a stranger in town and knoweth not a soul. <clears throat> by the by, see what I have brought thee. What's... She damn swell, the colony is in dire need of food. Who be thou? And what do ye hear? We'd be sent by His Majesty to defend the colonies. Our credentials, sire. Hmm. Boston Downs, weather clear, track fast, first race, Whopper. Two to one. They're off. Who's in the quarter? Whopper. Who's in the half? Whopper. Who's in the stretch? Whopper. Who's the winner? Rosemont. Who's the winner? Rosemont. Oh! The wrong credential, sire. I am so sorry. I prithee, you have not come at once. The Indians have arrived to sue for peace. Wouldst yeah. thou go to the meeting? Oh, wouldst. Come. Shoulder, arms. About, face. Oh. Forward, march. Peace. No more war. Oh, no more war. Give. Five thousand shackles. But we have no more than this. Mm. Good down payment. Take mortgage on balance. Interest six percent. Thank goodness. At last we are free to hunt. No, no hunt till FOB. FOB? Mm. Fork over balance. Indian givers. But chief. If we cannot hunt, the colonists will starve. Oh, look, come more. Oh, but listen, chief, I pray thee. We shall, we shall perish, perish of hunger. Oh, woe is us. Oh, woe is us. Tis a chance to redeem ourselves, lads. We shall hunt anyway and feed the colonists. Thou hast set a mouthful. I shall bringeth a moose. 
And I shall bring it to Nelk. I'll bring a couple of art fellas. <laughs> To the hunt! To the, to the hunt! hunt. A hunting we must go with. A hunting we shall go with. Right, face! Oh. Left about, face! Oh. Forward, march! A hunting we will go. Hallelujah! A hunting we will go. Yeah, man. A hunting we yeah, will go. Man. It's best we disguise, lads. No hunting, fishing, or swimming. Chief, rain, and the puss. Huh. No camping, no shooting, no smoking, and they call this the land of liberty? Wait. Heed them not, they are only Indian signs. Verily, I'm disgusted, not a turkey in sight. Oh, I took over. Give me the bird. Nay, tis mine. Wait, give him the bird. How I shall gobble this gobbler. <laughs> Look, turkeys. Load thy guns. What do we do now? Fire at will. Which one is will? Ready. Aim. Fire! Why don't you look where you swish it? Hold that. Look. We're trapped like rats. You're getting personal? What do we do? Ammunition, men. Man the guns. the ozone before they revive.
poor Larry, the Indians must have him by now. We must save him, lest they chop off his head or burn him at the stake. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> Gadzooks, what now? Keep a stiff upper chin. We'll surround him. <laughs> Present arms. Left face. Save our comrade. I smack it. <laughs> Quick, he's fainted. Bringeth water. I'll be back before thou canst say Ticonderoga. If thou canst say Ticonderoga. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chet. Will you get up? We're in trouble. Come on. <laughs> What's wrong with thee, thou quince head? You help me.
The general. <laughs> Gentlemen, our position is very precarious. Unless our secret service can get the information as to the enemy's plans, we will be forced to retreat. Colonel, what operators have we here? Operators 12, 14, and 15. Good. We are fortunate. Gentlemen, they are the very brains of the entire secret service. Summons them. Coincidence? Operator 12. Oh! Operator 14. Beep, beep. Oh. Operator 15. What happened, Operator 13? He swam across the river and died of atomic poisoning. <laughs> is in danger of annihilation. Unless we know the plans of the enemy, our cause is lost. Sir, here are the uniforms we took from the enemy prisoners. Good. We have captured three of the enemy's officers, and you are going to take their places. You will don their uniforms, we'll give you their credentials, and your names will be uh, Lieutenant Duck, Captain Dodge, and Major Hyde. Now I want you three men to bring me back the necessary information. Providing you get back. Wait a well, do you remember your names? <coughs> no. no. <coughs> Duck, dodge, hide. <laughs> <laughs> Attention! Attention! Oh! Avast there, shiver my timber ship ahoy! Heave two on the port side! I wonder if this is the right place, Lieutenant. I reckon this is the place, Captain. What do you all say, Major? Well, as there's no other place around the place, I reckon this must be the place, I reckon. No, 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 no. Oh! How deep is this here river, Major? It ain't deep. Look. It ain't... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Man overboard! Man the lifeboat! We'll have the preservers in a minute. We'll have you out in a moment, sir. Help them in there. Easy, Major. Well, You're God. lightning clementine. What's the matter? What happened? I was lost. All by myself. Let me see your hand. Ow! Oh! I'm, I'm getting tired of this army. I'm getting tired of both armies. Oh! Oh! Thanks, boys. If you hadn't held that branch, it would have killed me. Oh! Another sentry! Remember the password. Go ahead. Oh. What happened? Nothing. Oh! Follow me. Halt! Advance and give the counter sign. Cumberland! That's only for the first line. So it is. Charlie gives it for the second line. Charlie? Sure, everybody knows good time, Charlie. He walks like this. Hey, wait! Look, another 
sentry. Do your stuff, Lieutenant. Spread out. <clears throat> that way. Halt. Advance and give the countersign. Cumberland and Charlie walks like this. Halt. What seems to be the trouble, ya? Yeah. Well, he doesn't know the countersign. He's not supposed to, I reckon. Do you know who this is? No, who is he? I... Uh, tell him, Captain. Why, yes. Um, he's a gentleman of the South. Of the you South, you? yeah. Hell you, 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 you. Never mind, I'll take care of him. Hey, you all looking for me? Why, no. Who are you, stranger? I'm Charlie. You know. The fellow walks like this. No, you're the wrong Charlie. The Charlie we're looking for walks like a thissa. <laughs> I got a better one for the colonel. What is it, Major? There were three men in three beds, only had two blankets. How'd they keep warm? I don't know. How did they, Major? They turned on the heat. <laughs> See that? Yeah. Ooh. See that? By uh, the way, Colonel, I think we ought to have about 75,000 men down, yeah? Oh, don't make me laugh. We've only got 19,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I reckon we ought to have about 350 heavy pieces of artillery, don't you think? Oh, that's where we fooled them. We've only got 18 pieces. 18 pieces, a mere hand. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's forget business, gentlemen, and uh, freshen up our juleps. Sure, the colonel is right. Let's have a nip and tuck. What's that, Major? Well, one nip and they tuck you away for the night. <laughs> oh! Colonel, uh, have we... Uh... Yes, we have plenty for everybody. Here you are. <laughs> Took enough of that stuff. that paper was? Hot. Hello, Daddy. Oh, hello, dear. I'm baking a cake all by myself. Oh, that's fine, dear. By the way, gentlemen, let me introduce my daughter, Judith. Oh. Would you all care to partake of my cake when it's done? We all would sure love it. Lead us to it. Ah! I baked the cake once, but it fell and killed the cat. Major! How about another nip and tuck? <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Messing, sir. Woo, 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 woo. This is serious. What is it? I can't see so good without my glasses. Well, what does it say? Official communication to Colonel Butts. QX Division. Uh, what did it say? It's about the Union Army. Well, what, what was it? All Union soldiers are now wearing Union underwear. Think of it. Oh, baking, eh? Can I help you? I used to work at a bakery as a pilot. A pilot? Yeah, I used to take the bread from one corner and pile it in the other. <laughs> Well, uh, can you spread this cake with some of the strawberry preserve? Oh, certainly. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a hole in it. Oh, another one. <laughs>
You know, I quit my job at that bakery. Why? Oh, I got sick of the dough and thought I'd go on the loaf. <laughs> oh! You should be proud of your achievement. Missy, this cake is as light as a feather. I'm sure you'll like it. Yes, ma'am. What do you all say the name of this cake was? Southern Comfort. Yes, ma'am. Uh, tastes like Southern Comforter. You certainly like that cake. Do you mind if I dunk? Dunk? Do you like the cake? Here, you'd better have my piece, too. No. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Do you like that cake? If I hadn't helped bake it, I'd never knew it was a cake. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. How's yours taste? Like a mattress. Want mine? I'm stuffed now. <laughs> Gentlemen. I just received word that the left flank must move over to the right and the right flank must move over to the left. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I need your advice. What can you suggest? I... <coughs> He's molting. <coughs> He's been eating raw chicken. <coughs> information that there are spies in your ranks. I'm here to investigate. You don't think? Introduce me to your guests. Oh, by all means. Right this way. Gentlemen, meet Major Philbert. Oh! oh. Hmm. A victim of circumstance. Major Philbert's here because there have been rumors that there are northern spies in our southern ranks. The Major suspects everybody. He's known as Bloodhound Philbert. And he can smell a spy a mile away. <laughs> I'm glad he can't smell him any closer. Pardon me. I didn't quite get the name. This year's Captain Dodge of the Hawks Marine. Well, I've got a quite a pleasant surprise for you, Captain. What is it, Major? Well, they told me that your father came in this afternoon. My father? Yes. Boys, Dad's here. Yeah. Is he still as tall as ever? No, he's rather short. Well, he can't borrow any money from me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, gentlemen. I gotta take care of a week back. Pardon me. How long have you had a week back? Oh, about a week back. <laughs> You see that? Oh. <laughs> Here's to the success of our cause. And yes, to the success of our cause. Where's Captain Dodd? Sounds like trouble. Sounds like Lieutenant Duck to me. How is my son? Oh, fine, Uncle Tom, fine. Uncle Tom? That's short for Pappy. By the way, Captain, I forgot to tell you, your wife also came in this afternoon. <laughs> Where are you going? I left my horse parked in the safety zone. <laughs> Just 
Tell me, Captain, is your wife a blonde or a brunette? <coughs> well, sir, I really can't say. You know, when she first married me, everybody accused her of being very light-headed. <laughs> mm. Dodgy, kiss me. <laughs> darling, darling. Gentlemen, this is Mrs. Dodge, my wife. Oh, um, Colonel. Oh, Mrs. Dodge. Let's have a drink to the beautiful Mrs. Dodge. Now, we'll have this fixed in just a minute. Oh, gentlemen. You are very kind, sir. Thank you. And Major. I was wondering, Mrs. Dodge, what did you do with your little baby? 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 Oh, my baby! What have you done with my baby? Oh, oh my baby! What have they done with my child? Well, to Mrs. Dodge, I, uh, I, we, uh, there, there. Don't worry, Dixon Lou. I'll get him. Him? Her? Her? It? I'm a victim of circumstance. I'm going to faint. Oh, she has fainted. Get her a glass of water. No, whiskey. No. Do you think they'll ever find him? Here, oh. honey. Where did you find it? He was walking down by the railroad. Alone? No, I was with her. Well, let's see the little darling. He looks just like the captain. Yeah? Looks like you, does he? We had him down the beach all summer. He got quite sunburned. Sunburned? Yeah, here. Why, what'll I do with him? Hold him for 30 days. If nobody claims him, he's yours. Wait, 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 Operators 12, 14, and 15. Your face is so beautiful. Your beautiful blue eyes. Darling, I love you. I love you. Oh, my sweetheart. My killikaloo bird. 
You need a shave. Oh. Oh. My darling, I know you love me, but you're too shy to say so. But the petals on this gorgeous flower will prove it. Oh, she loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me. Oh, my darling, I'll give you security. The most beautiful cave in Mesopotamia. What will you give me? This. Oh! What's the big idea? Wake up and go to sleep. Why, you pussy willow brain, you ruined a beautiful romance for me. Lay down. this ready for breakfast while Larry and I go take a dip. Wait a minute, did you take a bath? What's the matter, is there one missing? Go on, go on. Let's go to the water. How do you like that? The fire went out. I'll fix that. Ah, oh, my trusty little rock lighter. Don't fail me, baby. Don't fail me, baby. There we are. Sassafras. Sure is cold today. Yeah. <laughs> All paid for the day? Yes, sir. That's fine. Hey, look. What? This. <laughs> what 
do you know? A fish for breakfast, a turtle for lunch. <laughs> Here, bring this in the house and give it a champ. I'll look around and see what I can find for supper. Here, hang up my towel to dry and don't wrinkle it. Certainly, Your Highness. Here, go ahead. Take the title, here. Look what we got for lunch, a title. Oh, that's swell. You're just in time to help me make butter. Is the cream in a chime? Oh, we're all set. Let's go. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it's done. Go and get the bowl. Here. Oh, boy. Great A. Oh. Uh. Ow, 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 ow. I'll say. Well, I think I'll get dolled up. <laughs> She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. When, when she comes. Come. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Uh, when she comes. Say, you know, fellas, I dreamed about Aggie again last night. <laughs> what a gal. Oh, boy, I'll say she's a delicious dish. Dish? Yowza, she's a flying saucer. Hey, talk respectful when you're talking about my tomato. <laughs> Now listen, if you behave yourselves, I'll have you meet Aggie's two sisters. Are they pretty? I don't know. I never saw them. <sighs> oh, just what I want. Uni Colonna. Hey, wait a minute. I want to smell good. Don't worry. You smell good. Oh, boy. My favorite. Lily of the Alley. <laughs> Fresh butter. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll dial myself up like never before. Yeah, Pass me the comb. <laughs> Thanks. There we are. Hey, there's Aggie and her two sisters. <laughs> Looks like 
I'm going courting. Me too. Me three. Be still, my beating heart. Onward. Right. Onward. Let's just ignore them, girls. Aggie, Aggie. Hiya, Toots. Oh, hello, Ma. What do you know? We just got back from a dinosaur show. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to meet my cave mates, Larry and Shemp. Pleased to meet you. I'm Aggie. I'm Maggie. I'm Baggy. You're telling me. Did you come from behind that rock or from under it? <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight? Mm. After seeing you, I believe in love at first fright. <gasps> oh, but you say that to all the cave girls. Oh. What would you charge to haunt a cave? You say the cutest thing. <laughs> Kiss me. No. No. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas. Cut it out, will you? Darling. He loves me. Sweetheart. He adores me. Angel. No, no, no. Cut it out. Don't. Don't. Darling. I idolize you. Look, they're stealing our women. You stole our girls, you half thieves. We want them back. Get in the cave, girls. I'll protect those girls to the last drop of your blood. Come on. Well. Help me have the gun. Ammunition. On the run. Why? No, no, a little to the left, about a half inch. Okay. That's it. Fire. Hey. Oh boy. Oh. Let him have this blockbuster. Oh, okay. A little over to the left. A little more. How's that? Explanation. I'm sorry. What's the matter? Don't you know how to fire a gun? What's the matter with you? Get some ammunition. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. You missed me. Ah! Oh, boy. What a shot. Look what I found. Oh, eggs. Perfect. Oh, boy. A bullseye. Look. Get the poison gas, Larry. Okay. On with the gas masks. Here we are. Hurry up. Good. Okay, I got him. Hold still, are you?
Ten to one. Twenty to one. Thirty. Forty. That's a matter. What's the difference? They can't win anyway. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> number one. Right, number folks. three. Number two. Come on, folks. He who hesitates is lost. Make your bets. Double on the two. Are we ready, folks? Are we ready? We are ready, folks. Here we go. Watch it, folks. There we go. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Too bad for folks. The bank wins again. I think this game, she is crook. I smell this skunk. Take off your hat, you're getting conspicuous. I'm frozen to the bone. Well, put on your hat. Oh, thanks. All right now, folks. Maybe the next time is your time. <sighs> We've been hornswoggled with a horseshoe bag. I fix these kids. <laughs> So those crooks rob us with the horseshoe wagon. We gonna string them up. Keep your shirt on, Pierre. I'm the law in Lobo City. I'll run them vermin down and bring them to justice. Somebody stole my gun. Oh. <laughs> There's a chance to win a reward, boys. They're in this wood somewhere. That's right. Try and bring them back alive. Where's Larry? He's taking a detour. He's going to meet us up here later. There he is. What'd you do with the money? I threw it away so I could run faster. Oh! 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 Hey, look, I'm caught. Help me, help me. I'm caught. Hold still, Daniel Boone. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! Where'd you get all this stuff? Steal it? What, do you think I am a crook? I just took it. Pretty good, ain't I? No, you forgot to get a tent. Oh! Oh! Hey, where you been? Well, down Never there. mind. Now, you go out and get a moose and a few mises. I'll run down an elk. I'll try and find a Knights of Columbus. Yeah. Take that. You get a fire started and we'll have a mess of something in no time. Oh, dear. I didn't think you cared. I don't. Oh! Oh! Come on. Oh, please. Here. Yeah. What are you doing out of bed? Go back and get your big brother. So you're the big brother, huh? Go fetch your old man. Chewing tobacco for. I want to feed it to the fish. When they come up to spit, I'll hit them on the head with my club. Can you spit? Certainly.
speckled herring. That's true. Get a fire started, we'll cook them. I ain't got no paper. Go get some. Oh, you're always sending Go me get to get those. What's the matter with you three? It's got to eat off you. Now go on back and get a fish. Well, boys, how's things? Hey, look what I caught. Ah, confetti. Clean them, stuff them, roll them in cornmeal, and fry them in butter. Yeah, but what do I do with them? I... What in the lake? Crack <laughs> your head open. Indian steer my fifi. Oh, I kill on Indians. Oh. What are you looking for? The doorbell. Maybe a knock would be better. Maybe it would. idea of throwing doors at people. If this was my place, I'd throw you out of it. Mm. What did you say? Nothing. What's that for? That's for what you were thinking. I ain't thinking. Well, you better start, because we got to get out of this mess. Don't you? Hey, here comes the sheriff. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Got him away. Hey, get into that. We got to get disguised in a hurry. I ain't going to wear this. This is last year's model. Maybe I'd like to have a name and wrap. You mean it? That's the rat. Now you go out and get your own ermine. Come on, get into some clothes here, somebody. Hey, there's only one leg in this. Only one leg? Yeah. Well, put the other one in it. Come on. Oh. Hey, what? get this scalp on. Hurry up. Wait a minute. Hey, where are you? I'm lost in the woods. Lost Wait a minute. Place. Wait a minute. Listen. Get some chicken feathers. Okay, I got them on. What do you think these are? Wait. If we ever get out of this mess alive, it'll be your fault, won't it? Huh? I'm talking to you! Well, now... What? Come on, come on. We'll get a move on. Look. Three sets of footprints. Maybe they're in the cabin. Oh. How? 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 And how? You see three pale face round here? Me no fish day. Well, these Indians are either drunk or crazy. Come on, we look around the outside. 
Boy, did we fool them. And how? You get a frying pan ready, I'll get the grub. Go ahead. Get out of here, useless. Oh, Indians! How? How? How are we doing? Oh, for Indians to steal my wife is pretty bad. But when Indians take my back and my beans, I pack Indian scab. We got just enough time to get back to Lobo City before dark. If we go back there, the sheriff will throw us in a hoosgow. We fooled him once in these Indian outfits and we can do it again. Right. Look. Ah, no riders. Ah, come on, we can get one of our own. Sure. Careful, be careful. Give me a hand. Fat Indian mama. <laughs> you like Pierre? <laughs> you like cook my beans? <laughs> you keep my wig warm? You keep your own wig warm. What? You don't like Marie Pierre? <laughs> I belong to Big Chief Randall Puss. Him public enemy number one. Him kill you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Not me. He, uh, she means, uh, big chief of Fultic Ribboners. All right, buddy, lay off us. You can have her. I want to tell her goodbye. I ain't going no place. Now, you keep on kidding him or the sheriff will get us. I will not. Do what I tell you. Oh, all right, but hurry up before something happens. Keep a stiff upper lip. Hey, Mr. Jost of the Pieces. Laughing eyebrows and we want to get for Mari right away. Oh. Well, I pronounce you man and wife. You're hitched. Fine, but... Everybody have drink on fear. <laughs>
She's a he! I... I kill him! Let's meet him come on, before he comes to. Here he is. I kill him! the Indians have been subdued, these cattle rustlers are proving even a greater menace. Can't we do something, sir? Oh, we certainly can. I'll send my three best scouts after them. If they can't handle the situation, nobody can. Salom, the scout call. Just plain, Bill. Men, the cattle rustlers have become a scourge. The government wants them completely wiped out. They're rustling all over the Badlands. And I want you to bring them in, dead or alive. Remember. Yes. yes. The entire West depends upon you. No. no. Yes. Aye, aye, sir. Ship ahoy. Ship of my timbers. All right. Listen, I hear somebody. Let's find out where they're coming from. Oh. What happened? Did you get his license number? I can't hear a thing. My ear's plugged up. It's full of mud. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Look. Wagon tracks, and fresh ones, too. We're hot on the trail. Come on. <laughs> what is it, Buff? What is it? You ruined my hand. Uh, no matter what you. We... Look. You dummy. Look. Hey, Tex, I just got wait for the grapevine that Buffalo Billis has got a scout looking out for us. They are, eh? Warn the outpost to keep a sharp lookout. If they see anyone suspicious, let them have it. Those are the fellas we're after. We're gonna sneak up a little closer. Maybe we can find out who the big boss is. Come on. Hey, 
Must have a rabbit on that there bush. I reckon I'll shoot it. Dig him out. Dig him out and I'll shoot him. Hurry, he's boring in. Come on. Come on, Lieutenant. You want to give away our hideout? What are you shooting for? There. Chop some brush for the fire. Do you feel a draft? No, and shut up or we'll get caught. Oh! Somebody stabbed me! It's Buffalo Business and his gang. Get him! In the back room. Buffalo Billius and his outfit have caught up with us, boss. They were spying on us in Sleepy Gulch, but got away before we could plug them. You dumb glute, you gummed the works. Now we gotta get rid of those cattle pronto. Listen. in these outfits. I hope. Now remember, you're a big gambler from the West. Hiya, Toots. <laughs> Your hat blew off. Oh, thanks. Where have you been all my life? Hey, uh, Where have you been all my life? Game's gonna be on the level, ain't it? Why, sure. Certainly. <laughs> Why, Pete? <laughs> well, I aim to keep it that way. Yeah. Here's how. And how. What are you putting in for? Hey! Why don't you get a gun? <laughs> Say, that's Lone Wolf Pete, the big boss. There's room for three more poker players. How about you? Reckon we can accommodate you. Be right in. We'll do the playing, you do the watching. Maybe we can get some information. And easy money, too. Yeah, got your special deck of cards? Certainly. We won't need them. I wish I could play this here game, but I don't know one card from another. I pass. I open. <laughs> I raise. Say, you must have a good hand. Oh, 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 oh. What's the matter with you? I just had four kinks in my back. Four kinks? You know, uh, when I get kinks in the back, I generally go to the desert. The desert? Yeah, does it? Oasis. Oasis. That's nothing. 
I've been to the Oasis twice. Me too. Don't I got... Never mind the tours. Let's play cards. How many? Three. How many? I'll take as many as I can get with a pair. I'll play these. Oh, bluffing. Well, what do you do? Do I have to tell? Yeah. Stranger. I shoot the whites. And that ain't all. Come on, fellas, help me out. <laughs> cool that. I call you. <laughs> hey, what happened to those fellas? Those are three crooks I shot for cheating in a card game. <sighs> well, what do you got? Who, me? Nothing. You win, I'm only bluffing. <laughs> well, I got four kinks, and they're not in the bag. Hey, will you excuse us while we go out and get some fresh money? Yeah, sure. <laughs> We've got to get this message to the general right away. Look, pigeons. Let's send it with him. Good. We'll send it by Pigeon Express. Yeah. Go two miles north and make a left-hand turn at the pool room. The name is General Muster. Get going. Quiet. We'll have to stall them off till the cavalry arrive. Leave it to me. Come on. Everything's all set. How about a little credit, Pete? Our reserves get here. Oh, I guess you're good for 25. Certainly. They'll probably send more than that. Oh! Oh, who deals? You do, I guess. Thank you. Are you superstitious? Oh, no. <laughs> well, don't be superstitious of Bill. Well, come down here. Let me see you. Well. It's a lie. Uh <laughs> <laughs>
What happened? What's the idea of pulling me off the horse? I'm mad, man. Why didn't you wait for me? Here they come. <laughs> with the shack. Oh. I'll tell them we're not home. Get the bar down. I think we lost them. shall hear of this. No. Yes. A strange craft was shipwrecked off Devil's Point this morning. This piece of wreckage was washed ashore. Odd name for a vessel. Were there any survivors? Three, Your Excellency. They swam ashore and we captured them. They're outside now. Bring them in. You may leave. Take it easy! You try that once more. Oh! You're afraid to do that again? By golly, he did it. I'm beginning to hate that guy. I never saw seafaring men dressed like that. I don't believe they're sailors. <gasps> they're sailors, all right. Hiya, babe. <laughs> Seize them! Well, I explain to you. I intended making galley slaves of you. Gee, thanks! But I've changed my mind. For your insolence to my betrothed, you shall die. I'll throw you to the tigers. Give us a chance. Be a sport, Gov. You want a chance? Yeah. yeah. Very well. You may choose the manner in which you will die. Oh, that's easy. Old age. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You have your choice. You may have your heads chopped off, or you may be burned at the stake. We'll take burning at the stake. Very well. We'll toast them Monday at sundown. What did you pick burning at the steak for? Of course, a hot steak is better than cold chop. <laughs> Away with them! Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey, Mo! Hey, Mo! They're down there gathering firewood. Yeah, tomorrow's the day they're gonna toast us like marshmallows. 
If that guy don't stop staring at me, I'll knock his block off. Somebody beat you to it. I've bribed the guards. I've come to help you get away. Boy, are we glad to see you. And if I do, will you take me with you? Will we? Will we? Will we? We will. Say, who are these guys? Oh, just a couple of men who tried to help me escape. Oh. <laughs> the governor's taking his nap. Now's the time to go. What do we do, make a run for it through the corridor? Oh, no, no, no. The guards would catch you before you'd gone 20 paces. I want to show you something. Oh, no wonder the bed was so lumpy. I've saved these tools for just such an occasion. Now carry them into the closet. Why the closet? The west wall of that closet leads to the outside of the palace. Oh, oh the, the west, west wall. wall. We better try the other wall. No, we haven't time for that either. There uh, must be a way out. There is. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Wait, I'll be right back. What a girl. What a girl. What a guy. Oh, Stop it. it. Oh, Stop it. What are you hitting them for? Get out of here. Get out. I'll take care of him. No, easy, no. easy, easy, mighty. I'll take care of him. This is the plan. As soon as you get out of here, go to Black Louis' pirate den. Here are 50 pieces of gold. With it, you can bribe Black Louis to take us all off this accursed island. Right. Shh. Hiya, babe. <laughs> Lay off, bird brain. She'd slit your throat for two doubloons. We got a barber do it for two bits. But he ain't as good looking. Get those glasses on. Go on, get gone. Wayfarers from strange lands, and they bear rare gifts for the governor. Wayfarers, wayfarers, ta, maha, aha, yati bini futi yati limine haronji. Uh uh, that's for the governor. We have a present for you later, a Mickey Finn. Oh, oh, oh. this way. Oh. Your Excellency. These men bring rare gifts. Allow me to present the Raja of... Uh... Uh, Kanasi. Oh! And his interpreter, um... The Jinn of Rummy. Oh! Can we dispense with the formalities and bake with the gifts? Oh, yes, the gifts. Sit down. What 
priceless gifts does the Raja bring? Gifts? Yes. We shall see. Maha. Aha. Uh -huh. You like to speak that? I like to talk that. Rasbanyas yati benefucha timini haronja, that, uh, how do you say, that pickle puss. He asked it, asked it, what did you for tzayek, you got it? Nothing. Nothing? Yooks. Oh, boy. The maha. Aha. Rasbanyas yati benefucha timini. Quiet. The Raja says that he is a bearer of a rare jewel, known as the... A ruby. A ruby as large as a turkey's egg. The ruby de lollipopskia. It's raspberry. What fire. I have many pigeon blood rubies, but never have I been given the raspberry. What other rarity does the Raja have for me? He had some bubble gum, but I think he swallowed it. But we shall see what we shall see. Maha. Aha. Hello, do. Hello, do. Rosbanyas, you have to benefit your team in your haronja, that, uh, how do you call it, that frog head. Yes, get asked you, what did you for tzayek, ing and zomen? Got it something else, kiddo? Rasbanyas, you have to benefit your team in your haronji. Padiriki, mahi, ha? I want to see that. Ah, the tusk of a black walrus. Oh, no leak that? No leak that. <laughs> Guaranteed forever. You shall live so long. Ask the Maha. Ah, last ban you shut up in the foot, you are killing me in the haronji. Bet on you, flatbush flathead. Oh, shut up, I don't have to. Hmm. Oh, 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 that's it. Oh. Oh. Last shot the I fought down. Are there fair damsels in the Raja's domain? Damsels? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> we shall see. Maha. Aha. Rasbanya shot the a team in the Haronja Bay Meadows. That iron head, he asked it, asked it, what did you for tzayek, hamdale, bendale? You got some slick chicks? Oh, a wolf! Rasbanya, shati benifuchi, achili mene haroji, paraniki mahi, ha? I'd like to see some babes myself. Me too. <laughs> Hit a guy with glasses, huh? <laughs> All right. Put him back, put him back. The, uh, maha. Aha! Rasbanya, shati benifuchi. Sit down! Oh, shut up, I don't have to. The Raja says that in his domain on the islands of Coney and Long, there are some fair chickadees who prowl through the meadows day and night. If you give us till sunup, we shall bring some back by sundown. Excellent, excellent. On your way with winged feet. <laughs> Come on, Maha. Ah, you have to believe, where are you? Oh, oh. Pick up your winged feet and let's get gone. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hiya, babe. <laughs> ah. Not touch! Ah. Not touch! Ah. Not touch! Your Excellency, Your Excellency, why did you let those three scoundrels go? Scoundrels? My dear, they are merchants who go to bring me priceless gifts. Merchants? Ah, why, well, they the three castaways. Ah, yes, so they are. What? Call out the guard! Call out the guard! We'll search the island! You don't have to search the island. They've gone to the den of Black Louis, the pirate. To Black Louis? Oh! Oh, hurry, Excellency, hurry, or they'll escape. They have gold to bribe Louis. There is no need to hurry. Uh, take a message. My dear pal Louis, you are going to have visitors, and I would suggest that you give them a warm reception. Get those things on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Look, a game of skill. Shall we play? No, there's work to be done. Come on. <laughs> Hiya, man. We're looking for Black Louie. 
I'm Black Louie. Welcome, strangers. <laughs> Make yourselves at home. We're having a little target practice. I'll wager you have sharp eyes for throwing knives. Why, certainly. Fine. We'll have a little contest of our own, say, for 50 pieces of gold. No, I don't want to. What's that? I said certainly. I'd be glad to. Good. <sighs> Get the knives. we need is a real live target. Oh, a volunteer. You'll do. We'll throw the knives at him. Oh, no. I just... You have nothing to worry about. If either one of us hits you, we lose. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Help yourself. Ah. Be careful you don't hit Larry. Where is he? Over there. I don't see him. Take off the glasses. Over there by the wall. What wall? No. Put back the glasses. We'll have a dance later. I'm too busy. Rita. Shh. The governor found out about our plot. He sent word to Black Louis to kill you. We better call the cops. We better call the Marines. Keep a stiff upper lip, kid. I'll think of something. Let's not lose our heads. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> Don't move. Remember, the first one that hits him loses. Don't worry, I won't take no divots. Go ahead, you first. You try. <laughs> he missed him. He's over there. Get back in position. Call nice work. What a clean sweep. Hurry, we can take Black Louis' sloop and flee the island before these cutthroats wake up. Yeah, let's get going. Not a chance, kid. I captured this layout and I'm taking over. 
I now crown myself Emperor Mo of Dead Man's Island. Down, slaves, and salam me. <laughs> Fellas, will you? Come over here and hold still. This is really caught. Loosen it up. I can't get it off. Why'd you get in that thing? I was always popping rivets, so I had my tail of spot weld me. Spot weld you. Fine thing. Oh, oh, oh. Hold that. Now we'll have to bust you out of that hardware. Bend over there. Now, hold still. Oh! 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 oh. Always clowning around. Out of my way, will you? Bend over there. Stand where you are. Oh, 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 I can't. Are you kidding? Which one of you is Cedric the Blacksmith? Not me. We're three troubadours on the way to the court of King Arthur. Troubadours? Yeah, sing and dance and like this. A one, a two, a three. A so we stuck our little tootsies in the water. And we ducked under the waves we did. If you're troubadours, why the armor? Well, listen, Sarge. Did you ever see a troubadour get hit in the kisser with a nice ripe tomato? Look, you see a tomato coming. Wham! You close the door. When the critics are all through, then you open it up again. The way we sing, sometimes they throw rocks. I can believe that. If you see Cedric the Smith, report the news to the Black Prince and you'll be well rewarded. He has sworn to have Cedric's head. What does he want Cedric's head for? Ain't he got one of his own? You dope. Two heads are better than one. Two heads are better than one. You idiots. They're gonna give him a haircut down to here. I'd hate to be in his shoes. I'd hate to be in his collar. I'd hate to be him. Yeah, but what does he want Cedric's head for? I'll tell you why. Because I dare love the fairy lane. Are you Cedric? Yes, and it's my head that the Black Prince wants. No kidding. Are you really that way about Elaine, huh? Oh, I'm mad about her. But the king has promised her to the Black Prince. Take it easy, Cedric, old boy. Brace up. We'll help you, won't we, boys? We can get into the palace, see? We're troubadours, see? So you stick with us, see? 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 One for all. And every man for himself. Oh! 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 oh. And I gotta write a letter, fellas. Look at my, look at my hand. I'll never be able to write underwater. That's it. That's her window up there. We'll get her out. Oh, Elaine, Elaine, come out, babe. Take a look. Who's standing here, right here? The big boy is here. We see the coast is clear. He wants to see you. So come out on your front porch. Balcony, you nuthead. Ain't you got no romance? I could have said veranda, but I said porch. Shh, hey, next. Oh, music lover.
you shout? What is it? Your Majesty, Cedric the blacksmith was below. So he dares to come here to the very palace. Take the princess to my room. Father. Go. She'll be more easily guarded there. But your Majesty, where will you sleep? Here, of course. Yes, sir. Mr. So fine, how do you do? How do you do? Quiet. The signal, the coast is clear. We can't get in the palace. They must have guards all over the place. Well, then let's go who? Quiet. I got an idea. One of us can climb that trellis. Yeah, one of us. Yeah, that's a swell idea. One of... Wait a minute, fellas. Not Come me. On. No, I get okay. dizzy. I get dizzy, kid. Get up there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do I know the baby will scream her head off when she sees me? I wouldn't blame her. We'll write him a note. Good idea. Throw some gravel up to wake her. Somebody threw some back at me. What do I do? What are you letting them... Hey, kiddo, are you awake? Good. Listen, babe. Me and my pals are on your side. So don't you worry your pretty little head about Cedric. The king ain't gonna push us around. No, sir. Say, how come a nice kid like you has such an old sourpuss for a pappy? He sure is a mean old galoot. <laughs> He's got a push like a snapping turtle. <laughs> yeah, like a snapping turtle with a belly ache. <laughs> Uh-oh. The guard awaits your order, sire. Good, send them in. medicine, but it's a sure cure for all diseases. Maybe so, but I'll take penicillin. See you tomorrow, bright and early. Cedric, old boy, don't let it get you down. No, just one, and it's all over. Thanks. You are brave men. Oh, oh tut, tut. Tut. It will be an honor to go to the block with you. Oh. What? You mean they're going to give us the works, too? Didn't you know? No. We all die together. Oh, no. I gotta get myself a cheap lawyer. And I just bought two new hats. I can't die. I haven't seen the Jolson story. I'll get out of here. My folks with monkeys in the... Oh, hey. What are you doing? I'm thinking maybe there's a cellar down there. We're in the cellar. Open it. Open it. Open it. Yeah. Your dinner. Eat hearty. It's your last chance. The princess herself ordered it sent to you. Hey, look what Elaine sent us. Ah, uh, she thinks of me. Now I can face the headsman's axe with a smile. Not me. Where's your chivalry? Well, I traded it in, forgot that. Oh, oh. oh the princess should have used more yeast than it. Shut up. You hear that? Do I hear it? It's loaded. <coughs> Some recipe. Quiet. Oh. Get to work. That babe sure can cook. Shut up. You'll get busy, too. Go on. Here, here. Oh. Hey, fellas. Oh. Oh. 
smart of you. I'm Pull sorry. that chisel. What's the matter with you? I think you loosened my teeth. Hold still. Thanks. You okay. did. Okay, here. Come on. Put your head right on me. Okay. Oh! 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 Oh, you hurt my hand! What are you squawking about? Look what he did to my feather. What's the matter? Wait, I got a nail here. You won't lose that hand again. <laughs> my dear, still crying over that. That horseshoe? I love him even if he is a smith. You'll forget all about love when I marry you. Never. If you become my bride, I'll persuade the king to spare your blacksmith's life. Think well your answer. I'll be waiting. Boy, there's no use. We've been at this thing an hour and accomplished nothing. Oh, yeah. Let's take a breather and start again, maybe. Hey, there's a draft in here. No wonder the door is open. Sure. Elaine and I are wed. The king must die. Yes, your highness. You have instructed your assassins? I have. Good. Pay them handsomely. In a few hours, if they strike well, I shall be king and you will be the richest man in all England. Him. Maybe they give him the big haircut already, you know. If we could only bring him back, I'd never hit him again. No kidding? Get out of hey, I can't do it. Shut up and listen. You know that Black Prince character, the guy to try to kill our pal Cedric? Yes. yes. Well, he's going to kill the king. No. Well, yes, but we'll spoil his little racket. How? I don't know. But we... I got a plan. Quick. Get into these steel steppings. We're going to make that Black Prince feel mighty blue. Hey! Oh, oh, over the other way. I found some gym guards. Yes. Put away. I got a head guard. I have done as you ordered, Your Highness. When the guards hear the fanfare of the trumpets, Cedric's head will fall. Good. How do you like that? I don't. Cedric won't either. Shh, Jiggers. The king commands your presence. We ain't got any presents. The stores are all closed. Oh, oh. Your Majesty. Your name, sirs? The three restless nights. Our days ain't too hot either. Oh, this is my daughter, the fairy Lane. Charm. Pleasure. Indeed. 
Say, she's a good-looking kid. Must take care of her mother. On her father's side. Thank you. Excuse me? Your Majesty. It's us. Listen, Your Highness. That Black Prince character is fixing to kill your father and make himself king. Yeah, and I heard him plot that Cedric gets it in the neck when the trumpets blow. <gasps> What's the matter? The trumpets will blow when the king announces the wedding. The Black Prince pulled the fast one, the rat. There's only one thing to do. See that those trumpets don't blow. <laughs> Knights and ladies, I have glad news for you. Elaine is to be wed. Quick! Let the trumpets sound! Play! Play! Blow those trumpets! Blow! <laughs> nice one. Now all we have to do is get Cedric out. Can you keep them occupied while I slip away? Why, sure. We're troubadours, ain't we? Make all the noise you can. It's a cinch. What'll we do? Dance, you dunce. What do we use for music? Turn on the radio. Are you kidding? This is ancient times. This is an ancient radio. Are you short of money? Are you still wearing last year's rusty old armor? Then see the scowling Scotsman today. Your Majesty, wouldst like to see a right smart dance? Wouldst? Marry a smith? Take it easy, King. Millions of women marry smiths every year. We'll have a wedding after all. Sound the trumpets! <laughs> Plum wild again. I ought to be out there slinging lead at you. What chance would you have? The thing to do is ride to Fort Scott and fetch the soldiers. I reckon you're right now, honey. I'm hitting the trail. Forgot my guitar. Goodbye now, honey. I hurt my knee. Up with that saddle. How do you get this thing on? It goes this way, I told you. Wait a minute, what about that thing? That's the backstop. That's to keep you from sliding off backwards. Oh, no, it ain't. That's the horn. The what? The horn. <laughs> By golly, you're right. I'm going to toss the saddle on the nag. <laughs> Hey, you idiots, what did you watch? What you doing? Yes, Sarge. Right, Sarge. Right out. 
Get busy, turn two. Get your shoes on a horse and a double. Yes, sir, on a double. Yes, sir, on a double. Yes, on a double. Get the shoes on that horse. Like a broom. They are the laziest bunch of guys I... What size, madam? We have some lovely ground grip. Quiet. Stop the nonsense and get busy with that hammer. Go ahead. Oh. Take it easy, Sarge. We got you. I did it. I'm gonna give you one solid gear as oh! of this? Well, sir, I was... Never mind. The Colonel wants to see you at once. I'll attend to you later, Private Mullins. Don't you worry about a thing, son. We'll take care of that Dillon gang. Well, thank you kindly, Colonel. I keep forgetting my guitar. Oh, I'm riding, sir. I hurt my knee again. your pardon. Reporting is ordered, sir. At ease. Sergeant, I need three or four good men for a very important mission. Yes, sir. I want them to go into the panhandle country, disguise this desperados, and hook up with that Dillon gang. Yes, sir. You understand, Sergeant, this is a very dangerous mission. The Dillons are ruthless killers, and these men that you select probably will never come back. I have just the men, sir. Oh, come back here. We're desperado, see? I don't feel very desperado. Well, we gotta be tougher than they are, that's all. Shut up! Well, give me back my front teeth. Give me a straight slug. Me too. I'll take a double. Make mine a triple. I'll take a milkshake. Which sour milk? Psst. I'm back now, honey. What took you so long? Oh, shucks. I fell off my horse and I had to walk. What about the soldiers? That's them. Them? Here's mud in your eye. Eh? Yeah, what about it? Handy with your shooting arms, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. Like this? Uh, that's nothing. Show them, Tex. Show them, Tex. You're Tex. Go on, show them. Stand clear, hombres, because I'm rough and I'm tough. Yes, sir. I'm lightning with a shooting iron. That's what I am. Lightning. Why? Breeze lightning is what I am. I'll show you the badge. That's what I'll do. I'll have it in a minute. Oh, shucks. I forgot to load them. 
Put up your guns, boys. I'll handle this. You got anything to say, Tenderfoot, before I gun you down? Your gun is empty. No! Breeze lightning, that's what I am. Take it easy, Adam. Take it easy, Tex. Clear out, you fool cats, before I get real rough with you. Go on, get out. Oh, Elmer. No, honey. Get it off, will you? Hello, boys. What happened to your gun? Oh, we ran into three strangers, boss. Three strangers? Do you know who they are? No, I've never seen them before. Lefty trailed them here from Fort Scott. They're spies. Spies? They'll have the troops down on us. Well, I'm leaving. Wait a minute. We're not leaving here. Not till we clean out the town. Anyway, how can those hombres report to Fort Scott if they're dead? Yeah. If it's information you want, this is the place to get it. Dylan and his gang come here nearly every night. We'll be all ears. This is the last of it. The stage gets held up so regular, we got to keep the gold from the mine in that safe. Wow, does Dylan know about it? Oh, no. That's good. Look! Oh, shucks, I missed. Now Dylan will know about the gold. That settles it, kid. You've got to ride. Tell the Colonel we need the United States Cavalry. I reckon you're right, partner. I'm hitting the trail. Sounds like the trail hit him. And the little one said he'll be sleeping in my bed. Well, well you taste this, you'll love it. That'll that'll be two bits. See them? No, I don't. Okay, gents, what'll it be? What are you having, boys? Have you seen anything of three strangers around here? No, ain't been no strangers around here, partner. Hey, there was a couple of sheep herders in here, about seven. And a few cowpokes about... Oh, a little while after that. The only stranger that I know left town on the four o'clock stage. And come to think of it, there was three of them. Did you check that stage like I told you? Sure I did, boss. I wouldn't miss an important thing like that. There was only two old miners and some dude. Well, well. Spying, eh? No. Leaving. Where's the other one? He's gone, I guess. Then we'll have to work fast. Blackjack, go get the girl. I'm taking her with us. Right. Left you open that safe. Sure. <laughs> now, I wonder where the other one went. is taking you along with him, just in case he gets lonesome. <coughs> Colonel, there's trouble at Coyote Creek. We need the cavalry. I'm sorry, son, but yesterday was payday, and, well, you know, boys will be boys. You mean no United States cavalry? No United States cavalry. Colonel, I'm riding alone. 
Tell Blackjack to tie up the girl and come here. Right, boss. said you opened this. I did. It's locked. Never mind, I know the combination. Settles it. We'll blast. Come on, get in here. All right, I'll keep an eye on them. You go see what's holding up the boys. He's doing playing horsey, horsey. Now, uh, come on, I'm tired. Wars now. In the. Ah, thanks, partner. No, honey. See, we got Dylan, too. Oh, isn't it wonderful, Elmer? Now we can get married. Now, wait a minute, Nell. Us Westerners ain't the marrying kind. We just go riding off into the sunset. Oh, 
Give me a home where the buffalo... Now, honey. Elmer. Oh. oh. Pulling into town, partners. We better spruce up. Yes. Ah! Eat your dust like a man, tenderfooter. I wonder what town this is. We must be on the wrong side of the tracks. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are we mice or men? Mice. mice. Don't get personal. Let's go. They got lamb. And make six sheriffs in five months, not counting the deputies. They all died with their boots on. They was good men, too. It was just that Blackie's gang bushwhacked them, that's all. Well, uh, Gladys is wet in the whistle. We'll see about getting her a pair of shoes. She could use a pair of bedroom slippers, too. Go on. <laughs> What's wrong, miss? My father's disappeared, and I think he's been dry gulched by Badlands Blackie. Badlands Blackie? Who's he? You mean you don't know? Why, he's a killer. He and his gang hang out at Skullbone Pass. And if anybody gets in Blackie's way, he shoots them. Now, gal, don't worry about Badlands Blackie with Coney Island Curly around. <laughs> Quiet, mashed potato muscles. Oh, you... Out of here. Hi, Nell. Blackie. Hiya, partner. Yeah, read that. Nell, dear, Blackie has got me. And if you want to see your pappy again, you better do what he tells you, Father. Well, what do you want me to do? Oh, it ain't so bad, Nell. All you gotta do is marry me, and I'll let your pappy go. Marry you? Uh-huh. No. <sighs> Listen, you oversized polecat, what's the big idea? Yeah, what are you picking on a girl for? Here. Yeah. Oh, superstitious, eh? <laughs> oh, oh. Why, you? Oh, 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 well, what's your answer, gal? Time's a wasting. You want to see your pappy alive again, or don't you? Think it over, Nell. I'll be back again for my answer, and it better be yes. Who done that? He did. Smart, Alex, huh? Oh! That was Blackie. Someone hooked him in a gunfight. Well, whoever it was, he's our next sheriff. <laughs> Good shooting, stranger. You done fine. We need a man like you in this town for the law. Pays real money, too. Money? When do I start? Right away. <laughs> what about my partners? Oh, we'll make deputies out of them. I got badges for them. You're the new sheriff. Pays a hundred bucks a month. Hundred bucks a month? Oh, boy, I'll be able to get married. I told you he was a brave man. Good luck, Sheriff. Good luck. Well, good luck there, partner. Good luck. <laughs> hey, now, I'm a new sheriff. Hundred bucks a month. What do you say you and I get married? If you're man enough to get Blackie and save my father, yes. <laughs> hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! I'm engaged. I'm practically married. I'm the new sheriff. 
You're the new sheriff. Yeah, and you're my deputies. Oh, hot dog boy. Wow. Success. Success. <laughs> I don't know what you're so happy about. Don't you know what you're up against? Well, I'm short, new sheriff. Good luck, sheriff. You'll need it. Blackie got Lem this morning. That makes six sheriffs he's killed, not counting deputies. Oh, they never count deputies. Hey, we're deputies. Yeah. We're ex-deputies. Come on, let's get out of town. No, I'm staying in Mary now. I'll get that skunk, Blackie. Oh, you'll get Blackie? Yeah. Like this? Ooh. Or like this? Ooh. Come on, Ooh. get out. You better get some practice. You got us into this mess, egghead, so sharpen your shooting eye or Blackie will get us all. I need my glasses. No, you don't need glasses. It's only in your mind. I'll prove it to you. How many letters on that card? Seven. You're wrong. Fifteen. You better use the glasses. How many letters on that side of the card? What card? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Get up there and get ready to shoot. You get over here. Hold that. Hit the cracker first. Who told you you need glasses? An obstetrician. What's the matter with you? Give me these things. Now listen, we've got to get down to practicing, just like I said before. Sharpen your eye on that ombre over there. Come on. You dirty double-crosser, I'll show you who's sheriff around here. Hit me, go on, hit me. Oh, why you? That is a doornail. That's good work, but you'll never get that close to Blackie. What we gotta do is find a long-range weapon. I got an idea. Come on, porcupine. Okay, that's enough. Hmm. Hey, you're supposed to be dead. Hmm, the dummy is warm, too. I need to shave. <laughs> All right, Sheriff, your time has come. I'm going to count to ten, and then I'm going to blast. One, two, Not three. Not so fast! One. Hey, Mo, hey, Larry! Two, three, four. <laughs> Fire! Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Let's get out of here. Well, Nell, oh. I told you I'd be back for my answer, and here I'll be. I guess you hold all the aces, Blackie. I'll marry you tomorrow. Nope, it's got to be today, right now. There have been too many things happening around here that ain't to my liking. All right, Blackie. Well, let's get a going. <laughs> Come on, Trigger. Nell and me is going to get hitched. the judge. Home, I guess. Well, go fetch him. Tell him there's a marrying chore to be done. Sit down, Mrs. Blackie, and put a smile on your pretty face. They want you down at the office. Uh, thanks, sonny. Hi, boys. Hi, where you bound? Oh, I'm in a hurry. I've got a Marion job to do. Oh, Marion, well, wait yeah. a minute. We'll... I have a little question I'd like to ask. Yeah, yeah what is it? Well, guy. you see... You got everything all set? Yeah, I got to hurry. I got a Marion job to do. No, 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 no. Howdy, boss. Stick around, Quirk. We'll be a needing you for a witness. Well, well. Does somebody want to get hitched around here? Never mind that palaver. Let's get a going here. Oh, well, what day is this? A date? Why, it's, uh... Ah! Why, it's May 24th. My golly, you're right. Uh, the book. Oh, yes, the book. 
Do you take this horse collar off your lawful with a harness? What? No! Uh, uh, the, the ring? The ring, yes. Hmm. <gasps> what do you... Mm. You were supposed to put it on her hand. Before, Nell. Well, I just didn't want anyone to get shot. Oh. Well, let's go. Where to? Oh, to my place in Skullbone Pass, where we should have gone in the first place. We can get spliced there without being bothered none. But I couldn't go like this. I have to get ready. After all, this is my wedding day. I'll be there before sundown. Well, all right, then, Nell. At my place in Skullbone Pass before sundown. No tricks now, or you'll never see your pappy again. I'll be waiting. What are you doing that for? He might be hiding in that hay. <coughs> what was that? Sounded like a dog. No, we got to get Blackie's okay. You mean to say he'd want this here best bumped off? Sure he does, but he wants to do it himself. We'll just keep him for the boss. This here ought to hold him. Put it on him. Yeah, let's get it on him. Oh. Get that lock. Got that lock then? We'll see you later, Rover. Don't worry, kid. We'll have you out of that in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Come here. Hold that chisel. Oh, why don't you hold your hand still? Get it up there. Oh, I don't think that'll work. No? No. Here, I got it. Get around here. Ah, uh, this is the thing. Why didn't I think of it before? Oh, 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 How's that doing? Oh, 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 okay. Take it easy, kid. Good idea. You got an ounce of brains. Hold still. Just my luck, a dud. Say, there must be some way to get that thing off. Hey, why don't you saw it off? Get his head in here. Yeah. Well, we haven't got all day. Nell is going to get hitched to that rat black if we don't get there in time. Thanks. Who are you? Dummy, you. We got to get going. I'll get my secret weapon. Let's get on it, boys. We got to get the skull bone pass before sundown and save poor Nell. Let's go. Hey. Justice, ain't you? Sure am. That's good, because I'm getting hitched. Who's the lucky gal? She'll be here soon, or else. She's got until sundown. <laughs> In honor of my wedding, from now on, everything's on the house. <laughs> Well, folks, here she is, the future Mrs. Blackie. Oh, she's out. Oh, man, to see you. Oh, yeah. Ain't she pretty? Glad to have you with us. Here, never mind all that. Fetch the wedding cake. Okay, Blackie. Hey, boss, we got... Oh, I can't be bothered now. Judd. Here, the Blackie. Hey. 
Were you looking where you were going? No, I was going where I was looking. Oh, come on here. Hey. We better get going. It's a long time since I've done this. I don't seem to recollect how you she goes. You better remember, you old billy goat. Let me think. that for me. All right, let me have the ring. Ring? Uh, well, I... Here. There you are. No, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Take a hold of her hand. No, no, I can't. Oh, you're backing out, are you? Fetching her pappy. Stop it! Give him the works. Where'd they go? In a powder shack. your life. What, him? I'd rather be dead. <laughs> Anything to oblige. Oh, no. No, Father, no. Oh, let go. Father, no, no, let go. Ever since the beginning of time, each generation has produced extraordinary characters of vast strength and courage. Leif Erikson, who led his hardy Norsemen to the New World centuries before Columbus. Joan of Arc, who lived, fought, and died for her beloved France. King Arthur, who inspired all men with his goodness, tolerance, and humility. George Washington, who fathered a country and became the servant of its people. And yet, of all the world's heroes, not one ever matched the superb strength of that champion of truth and justice, the mighty Hercules, who, it may surprise you, would not be occupying his vaunted place in history had he not been influenced by three strange individuals, Larry, Moe, and Curly Joe, whose unique story up to now has been buried in the dust and rubble of centuries and will be chronicled for the first time in this document.
our story of Hercules properly begins in Ithaca. But not this one. This one, in the state of New York. I'm making a pepper upper for people who are pooped. I'm going to make a million dollars and quit working for that grouch Dimzo. Brackazan! Brackazan! Bacamanis! Bacamanis! Mo, are you all right? Say you're all right, Mo. Please say it, Mo. I'm all right. Oh. What are you trying to do? Oh. I'm making a super tranquilizer to calm people down after they've taken Larry's pepper upper. <laughs> oh, a super tranquilizer? Yes. Is it good for headaches? Oh, yes. Here's a super headache. It's only Skyler next door. Yeah, fooling around with his invention again. I better get over there before he wrecks the whole store. Yeah. Inventors. We'll clean up while you're gone. Hey, Val, what, what one is it? Go pile. I don't know. Maybe it's my ears ringing. Hi, Skyler. Everything under control now? Oh, yes. I hope my little explosions didn't upset you. They don't upset me, but what they're doing at Dimsel's drugstore is something else again. Well, I won't have any more trouble if I can just shorten the wave way. Here, why don't you snip a piece off the end? No, no thanks. Mo, look. I'm sure I've, I've got it this time. I'm sure. You're sure? Any day now, my space-time conveyor will be ready. Imagine going back into time to the Crusades. Maybe, maybe even to the time when they built the pyramids. The pyramids, huh? Uh, well, Mo, I don't blame you for being skeptical. But now think about this a minute. You see, Einstein's theory states that time is not constant. It's flexible. Flexible? Uh-huh. Well, it, it's quite simple, really. You see... There's no longer any distinction between three-dimensional time and space. And I'm merely working on the theory that they're fused, see, in a four-dimensional space-time continuum. Continuum. <clears throat> oh, oh. How about a cup of coffee? All right. Uh, does Dimsel know that you boys are letting me eat on credit? Well, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Come on, Diane will be along any minute. Come on, come on, Skyler. There's too much bacamanas. Well, you should have turned it, you and your pepper up. You try to turn it off, I'll turn it off right there. That's where you turn it. Cut it out, will you? Cut it out. Yeah. Cut it out. Try to stop it. Look out. I think I can watch you on here. Shut that thing off! Get rid of it! What's the matter with you? Hey, you! Banana split. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mo. That's all right. Why, you? 
Success in anything but stupidity. Now get him up in a broom and clean this up. And you help him, Porcupine. If the boss sees this, he'll kill both of you. And if he don't, I will. Oh, Come on. Good. Well, thanks for the lift, Mr. Dimsel. Oh, honey, call me Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I, poison or something? I'd rather not discuss it. Please. <laughs> I know. It's that Skyler character, that crackpot inventor. <laughs> he's not a crackpot. He's a fine... What in the blazes? Davis, I warned you what would happen if that cockeyed invention of yours damaged any of my merchandise. Now you're gonna pay for this every bit of it. Do you understand? It was our fault. Yeah, the machine went haywire. Shut up! I said he did it and he's gonna clean it up. Now get going. And after you finish, clean up this soda fountain. You, come on, get going, get out of here. Get in the stock room, get some more china. <sighs> but Mr. Dimsel, I... You wanna make something of it, Davis? Put up your dukes. <laughs> Is it true that you didn't have anything to do with this? No, oh, it doesn't matter. It does matter, unless you're a jellyfish. Well, I'd why fight over nothing. And besides, I just get the boys in trouble. No, that's not the reason, and you know it. Skyder, why don't you stand up to him? Well, I just didn't think it was important, that's all. That's the trouble with you. Nothing's important, not even me. All you care about is that silly invention. It's not a silly invention. And I've almost got it. It's almost ready to go, honest. Just two more days and I'll have it. Two That's more days. That's what you said six months ago. But this time, I mean, honest, I've got it. Just two more days. All right, two more days. Then you, then you either give up that stupid machine and, and get a regular job, or you can forget about me for good. I heard what she said. You better get going. We'll clean the place up. Oh, but, 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 Dimson. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Gee, thanks, guys. I do have to pick up a deflection attenuator. I know. We can't do without one of those. <laughs> oh, you have something left. Well, fancy that. Oh, nah, yeah, what's the matter with you? Come on, Maybe what's the matter? Have another cup. Have another have cup. Another bounce it off your head. Go on, I got this one. Go on. working all this mess. Utter confusion. So we'll clean it up. Empty the wastebasket. Pick up the stuff. Cob the cobwebs. Oh. Spread out. Get moving here. Hey, the leak, the starboard. Oh, Come on. Oh, Making more mess than anything else. Yeah. Oh, Davis, you left your... So, this is why you boys took off so early. Well, we, we thought we'd clean up his room, so to give him more time to put on his invention. He's only got two days left to finish it. Two days? Well, he's never going to make it if he goes according to these plans he left in the store. You mean he's got problems? Problems? Look, there he's got his anodes where his cathodes ought to be and his...
cathodes where his anodes ought to be. Oh, so he has. Yes. Oh, and look, this capillary magnetron. I always told you boys that Davis was a phony. Now this proves it. As a graduate engineer, I could tell you that it would be tough for him and three good men to get this thing working in two days. Ha! Two days. Oh. What do you think, Mo? Hmm. He has got it hooked up all wrong. Any idiot can see that. Well, you ought to know. I mean, you heard what Dimsel said. He's got his cat to watch it, whereas Anna Hoosers ought to be. I'd hate to see Skylar lose out with Diane just because he mixed up his Anna Watts's Hoosers. Let's straighten it out for him. Sure, he may not be back for hours. Yeah. We'll fix it. See if we. No, no I don't do think so. Right. How about? Uh, I wouldn't try that either. Well, maybe this. No. 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 Lay off of that. Yeah. That's got. How about? What well, makes sense? Boy, Skyler's gonna appreciate this. Yeah. Black wire onto the blue. Blue onto the. Black. Dang it. Boom to the blue. Open the door, squirrel bait. Oh, take off power. Yeah. These rockets ought to blast Skyler back clear into the days of old Never Kibitzer. Hey, King Kibitzer. You want to blow the place up? Put those down. Put them down. All right, all right. Hey, you guys, what are you standing around for? Get me out of this trap. I'm all He's all up. mixed up again. Okay, okay boy. Right. Let's let's take it easy. I know what's the trouble. Your wires are yeah, mixed up. Get them back on. This way. Wires. Well, easy, easy with the tonsil spots. Wait, wait, wait. Now, wait. 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 Let's have a system, will you? Yeah. Go my way. To yeah. the right. To the right. Easy with the bridge wire. To the right. Up, up. Wait, wait. You're burning up my tonsil. Easy does it. There, you see? Nitwits? Yeah, let me straighten up your You almost took my head off. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Come on, hook up the wires. Hook up the wires. <laughs> hook up the wires! All right, hook up the wires, hook up the wires. <laughs> hook up the wires. Uh-uh. A ball-headed screw. I wish I had a ball-headed screwdriver here. <clears throat> See here. Negative to the positive. I'm positive the negative won't fit. Three volts? Four volts, settled. Mm. Ah, 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 ah. <coughs> All right, now hear this. Now hear this. Now hear this. Prepare to blast off. Ready to blast off. Knife switch. Main switch on. Main switch on. Woo! <laughs> 
Curse chickened out. Those chariots, those old weapons. Skylar, is it possible? Yes. I believe we've just witnessed a clash of arms in ancient Greece. Ancient Greece? Of course. This rocky terrain, the hills of eastern Greece. Why, this must be approximately 900 BC. 900 BC? We sure went a long ways in reverse. Victory is complete. All Ithaca is mine. Herodias, new king of Ithaca. Yeah! It was the gods who made us triumph. Pay homage to the gods. Someone coming. Don't worry. Just tell me we're American citizens. America hasn't been discovered yet. You mean I haven't been born yet? Christopher Columbus hasn't even been born yet. Come on, will ya? Mighty 
gods from Olympus who visit us in this strange flying chariot. You have scattered our enemies to the winds like leaves in the wind. Praises to your glory shall be sung from every temple in Ithaca. 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 But we're not gods from Olympus. We're mortals just like you. Mortals? Impossible. Well, you see, we're from another time, as well as another place. It is rather difficult to explain. Especially on an empty stomach. Well, whoever you are, wherever you came from, you have the eternal gratitude of Odeus, king of all Ithaca. King of Ithaca. And now I offer my hospitality. My palace and everything that is in it is yours. And you. You with the beauty of the dawn whom I could have sworn was a goddess, you will ride in my chariot with me. That odious fella. He looks like somebody we know. He acts like someone we know, too. I got it. Dimzo. But this is 3,000 years before Dimzo was even born. Maybe so. But if he turns out to be a heel as well as a wolf, this could be the start of the Dimsel family. Come to the palace. What about my space conveyor? Oh, yes. The flying chariot. We don't want anything to happen to it. We'll need it to get home. Yes, by all means. Secure the flying chariot so it cannot be removed. See, my friends, you need not have worried. No man alive can move those boulders but Hercules. Hercules? Hercules? We should have known. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Thanks, Hercules. Uh, hey. uh, glad to see Hi, you, Herky. Herky. Uh, you're looking good, Herky boy. Yeah. Come to Ithaca and to the palace for the tribute of my people and for wine and food. Sounds good to me. I haven't eaten in 3,000 years. Why, the man at my friends. Come, join us. Partake of food and wine with us. Hi, fellas. Friends and countrymen, let us all hail our honored guests. Let us rejoice in their presence. Had it not been for them at this very moment, we would be tasting the bitter dregs of defeat instead of the fruits of victory. <laughs> the
Let us pay homage to these. <laughs> Let us pay homage to these strange visitors from another place that come to us in this. that come to us in their flying chariot. Drink, my friends. Drink and be merry. Go. You know, these old Greek things certainly have lovely curves, haven't they? These young Greek things ain't bad either. <laughs> He's right. And now, my friends, a toast. A toast to our honored guests. A toast. A toast. A toast. A toast. A toast. A toast. Hercules! Out in the palace. Delightful. What beautiful timing. Truly, we enjoy the favor of the gods. What have we done? What do you mean? Well, history tells us Ulysses was a great man, a wise and just ruler. You mean we goofed? We helped the wrong army. We put a skunk on the throne of Ithaca. Well, Ulysses, I've been waiting a long time for you to grovel at my feet. Ulysses grovels at no man's feet. Least of all a traitor who has robbed him of his throne. Very well, Ulysses. Tomorrow I'll have you dragged around the arena by wild horses. If miraculously you survive, I'll think of more ingenious ways for you to die. Take him away! The only way to make up for this king-sized boo-boo is to get that creep off the throne and turn it back to Ulysses. But we're outnumbered. You're outbrained, too, but we have to try anyhow, and the first thing to do is to spring Ulysses. Come on, let's go. Skylar, you stay here and keep an eye on Diane, and forget the pottery. Life, Ulysses. We'll have you out here in two shakes. But I thought you were close to odious. How long can you stay close to a skunk? Yeah, hey. Come on, boy. Right. Here, get this. Okay. Oh. 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 Uh, this ain't sharp. Shh. It ain't, huh? No. Give me number six blade. Yeah, try that. Hold that now. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, just... Now do something right, will you, once in a while? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah. Give me this thing here. Get out of my way here. Share my glass with me. No. Please. <laughs> Boy, attaboy, Mokin. Hit it, but shh. What are you making me out of boy? Come on, put some muscles on. Oh, put some muscles on. Do it. I think do it. Give me out of boy. Wait a minute. 
16 pounder. Yeah. Oh, all right. Put all you got on it, kid. Quiet. It won't. It's stuck. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't help it. Looks pretty good to me. You had to stick your nose in the way, huh? See, now you Come got on, it. Come on, belt it up, All right, will you? all right, but he's got to make it fall. Let's start on the other bar. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Oh! A backbiter. I'll fix this up so nobody will stop it. Here, here, let me get Out of the way. Let a man right. do it that knows how. Okay, okay. Get it. <laughs> hurry. Ulysses, hurry. The dungeon underneath! Yeah. I shall be forever grateful. When the throne is mine again... Never I'll... mind that. You better scram. Yeah, come on, beat it. What they mean is, Mr. Ulysses, thou better escapest whilst thou countest. Yeah, come on, come on. Find yourself a cheap blacksmith. Oh, he's a nice guy. the new slave girls from Cytherea. That's, that's right, dearie. That's us. Yeah. Little old slave girl. You deserve a good beating. Hiding to avoid your work. Now you get busy, you lazy things. Go. Please, please. Well? Well, get busy. You know what to do. We do. We do. I wish we didn't. Each of us will want a thorough massage. Then you will anoint us while we bathe and dry us afterward. Take me first. <laughs> Start here. My, I forgot my washcloth somewhere. Please, I'll report you to Masseur's Union. The toenails. Mine, they're the same shade as the fingernails. Help me. I'm ready for my bath. <laughs> the water's too cold. Oh, I want it cold. It's cold. I said I like it cold. You'll get pneumonia. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, no, you don't.
How's that, dearie? Not bad, but next time, trim your fingernails. <laughs> of him, sire. These men deserve death. No. Death is too good for them. I condemn them to the galleys. Galleys? We're gonna do some cooking? Imbecile, we're gonna do some rowing. Silence! You will not live three weeks under the slave master's lash. Skyler, will you please be a man and speak up? Tell him he can't do that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Now, see here! Guards, carry out the sentence. Here now, please. Wait, wait, wait a minute. And take that weakling with you. Wait! How about Diane? Oh, yes. Well, you needn't concern yourself about her. She'll be well looked after. Wait, wait, easy, I'll get myself a cheap lawyer. Wait, wait, hey, you're tearing the night down. Wait, 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 wait. gets meaner by the hour. Hey, fellas, look at Skyler. His muscles get bigger every day. Yeah, on one side. If he could only build up the left arm to match the right, he could take on both those baboons. What did you say? I said this galley can go right through two typhoons. Silence! I'll slice you up and feed you to the sharks! Let you calm down, Pills. Yeah, all right. Let me have some. Hey, conductor. Give me a drink, will you? No! Get this for him. You lazy, muling mullahs. You've had every drop you're getting today. Oh, but we're thirsty, aren't we, fellas? Yeah. Yeah. Sir!
Milo! What's happened? Speak! The key, fellas, unlock the chain! Get me that sledgehammer! Off dance The rest of them made it. Yeah. I wonder where we are. Maybe the sign will tell us. You know what? I'll smash the first guy who says it's all Greek to me. Well, it's all Greek to him. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> A peasant. Hey, come on. Uh, 
Take that! Oh, 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 oh my! Have you been shipwrecked? No, we always take a bath with our clothes on. That's how we do our laundry. Say, would you mind telling us where we are? Yes, how far is Ithaca? Well, this is the island of Rhodes, and Ithaca is about 1,200 miles to the east. Could you tell us where we can find the nearest harbor? Well, it's about three days' walk from here. Which way? <clears throat> you, well, you've got to go through that grove of cypress trees, turn left at the brook, then go through the deep ravine until you, 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 well, you, better go that way. Now, along the coast, go past the sand dunes and then turn south at the rocks. And then if you just uh, stay on one, no, the other, you, 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 no, you can't either, no. The mountain road, that's it, the mountain, yeah. Now, you go through the pine forest until you, you won't see any more, you'll see a gate there, but. Well, don't go through it. It's nothing. It's an old thing just left there. You just go on and you won't, uh, well, you might if you, uh, no, it's, you know, if I were you, I wouldn't start from here. Say, why don't you follow me? I'm going to Rhodes to sell my flock, only I'm taking a shortcut. Wrist, eight. Ankle, nine. Wrist, seven, three quarter. Ankle, eight and three quarter. Uh, pardon me, General. Does that ship go to Ithaca? Very likely. That is the royal yacht of King Thesis of Rhodes, about to leave on a pleasure cruise. A, a pleasure cruise? Oh, boy. Food, wine, dancing girls. And we always stop at Ithaca to take on fresh supplies. Oh, boy, that's for us. Uh, tell me, Colonel, could you use four able-bodied seamen? I don't see why not. Good. Next size, 16 and a half. Sleeve length, 31 and a quarter. Head size, 6 and 7 eighths. Thank you. Wrist, 8 and a quarter. Oh, that's for my cuffs. For your chain. Thank you. Chain! Glad to have you back. I wonder what that drummer boy would take to change his tune. If they put a banjo with him, that's a combo I can live with. You won't live five minutes if you don't bear down! Roar, you jellyfish! Well, at least we're on the other side of the ship. Give Skyler a chance to build up his left side. Get a load of that bicep. Yeah, just like a floating Big Danny. Those shoulders now. Yeah, that takes care of the muscles. Now we gotta work on the gumption department. What he needs is self-confidence, initiative, and referendum. Yeah, he. Row, you miserable weaklings! Row! He's pulling the entire lot of you to starboard! Now row! He's turning a ship around! in circles. I, the King of Rhodes. Oh, there you are. 
What's the reason that we're... I mean, why are we spinning around like a top? And you've got a drunken helmsman, I'll wager. It is not the helmsman, sire, but the powerful oarsman on the starboard side. All the rest of my slaves combined cannot hold the ship steady. Even one man out pulls all the... Oh, my, that's really... One man? He has the strength of 20 men. 20 men? You don't say. As strong as 20 men, he... Oh, oh, the ship's going one way, my, my head's going the other. Oh. Will you stand still? Oh, I see it all now. You've been drinking. This is mutiny. No, my lord, I protest. All right, all right, stop the ship. Bring me those 20 men, I mean, the one man who's as strong as 20 men. Yes, my lord, at once, my lord. That's the strong one, sire. He means him. <laughs> the king knows that, knothead. Oh, my, say, he does look strong. You ain't seen nothing yet, your majesty. Yeah, make a muscle for the king. Hey, look at him. He's in better shape than Hercules. Hercules? Did you say Hercules? Here on my galley, the strongest man on all the earth? The gods have sent me Hercules, the only man alive who can save my kingdom. You're slightly off the beam, King. He ain't alive. What that windblown idiot means to say, Your Majesty, is that Hercules here is a victim of circumstantial circumstances. Uh, that's right, King. This entire thing is a, a preposterous mistake. You p p preposterous indeed. My lord, these men were condemned by King Odious. They were? Why, I never heard of such a... Uh, Hercules, you do something for me, and I'll see that you get your freedom. And my friends will be freed, too? Well, certainly they'll be freed. We're in business, King. Uh, what's on your mind? There's a monster loose on the island of Rhodes. Now, no doubt they told you that uh, I am King of Rhodes. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, this monster is called a Siamese Cyclops. Oh, he's a terrible-looking thing. It's two heads, one big eye on the center of each forehead. I don't know how he manages. Now, what I want you to do is get rid of the Cyclops for me. Oh, you're a stench, King. Monsters are right up his alley. <clears throat> now, how about us going free? Now? Before we get rid of the... Sure. We won't run away. Of course you won't run away. Why, my soldiers will surround the whole island. <laughs> Go ahead. Strike the chains. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on, get these links off there, Ironhead. Get on the job there, Muscles. Hey, get to work. He's the king, ain't you? Uh, certainly I am. Uh, get busy. Uh, get busy. Yeah, get lost. Hold up the leg here. Here. All right, kid. There. How about the other one? see any sign of him. Let's call it off. Maybe Cyclops is around the season. Chicken, there's nobody around here but us. What are you afraid of? Maybe we better separate and scout around like they do in the army. Good idea. I'll take the point. I'll take the right flank. I'll take the left flank. I'll take your tranquilizer. Oh, there you go. You go up on the rocks and reconnoiter, and if you see any cyclopses, you know what steps to take. Yeah, fast ones. Go already. Come on, let's spread out. What's the reconnoiter? Peaceful as a tomb. 
What would I say? When a singer was sent for Perry Como. What's bugging you? Dig those crazy twins. Ah, Sky Clubs! Oh, my goodness. Decoy! Hey, ugly! Even though you got two heads, you only got a half a brain. Yeah. Oh, neurotic, eh? I'll take care of that. Which rat? Goodbye, Cyclops, close your red eye. Hit the sack, Cyclops, slumber is nigh. When the pill works, the creature will fall. And down will come Cyclops, two heads and all. <laughs> hey, we gotta make Skyler think he did it. We'll build up his gumption department. Right. Hey, get that club. Come on, kid. Come on, you're doing fine. You got him on the ropes, kid. Now all you need is to go a little further. Come on, fellas. Here we are. Oh, come on, go after him, boy. Let him have it. All right. Atta boy, scholar, old boy. Finish him. You can do it. You can do it. Finish him. You sure did, Skyler? You proved you're a real Hercules. Will Diane go for you now? Man, you're terrific. So you conquered the Cyclops single-handed and captured him. <laughs> oh, my. I don't know how such a big monster. Uh, but then, you, you're Hercules. <laughs> well, King Old Boy, if you're through with us, we'll be on our way to Ithaca. Oh, wait. Yeah, one more task before you go. Oh, I'll pay you this time. Going to the realm. It's good as gold. Well, uh, <clears throat> what do you have in mind, King? Oh, the trouble's a bull. The Cretan bull? Have you heard of him? You know, why, tore up the island of Crete, and now he's ripping up roads. Oh, what terrible monster. Why, he paws the ground just like a... <coughs> oh, a demon. <laughs> If you vanquish the bull like you did the Cyclops, uh, 
I'll pay you 1,000 talents in gold. How the calm down pills holding out? Still got plenty. We'll do to the bull what we did to Cyclops. Right. King, you got yourself a deal. Mo, we can't do it. We've got to get back to Diane. I know that, kid. But a few more jobs like this, and we won't have to hire out as galley slaves. We can buy our own galley. And go back to Ithaca in style. Mm. We'll take it. He'll take... Oh, wonderful, wonderful, splendid, splendid, splendid! Huh? <laughs> If you ask me, thesis has gone to pieces. Fight's over. Attaboy, champ. That's the old confidence. Hey, the crowd's getting impatient. Yeah. Uh, time to start. 2.15. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, how about the pills? Uh, I tranquilized the Hydra. Took nine pills. One for each head. Yeah. Hiya, fellas. Hi. Uh, my associate, Freddy Defense. I'm Achilles the Heel. You guys got a permit? No. No, that's too bad. We collect the seed. We get a cut on all the sporting events in Delphi. Understand you've been matching your boy all over Peloponnese without cutting us in on the take. Now, you shouldn't ought to have done that. Now, we got no recourse but to slap you with a penalty. Well, well what kind of a penalty? 100% of today's take. Oh, oh well, yeah, well, just a moment. You know, it's you, impossible. You, uh, <laughs> I hope you boys see it our way. They do. Now you can't take our money. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Well, that takes care of the Hydra. Now, when do we leave for... What's the matter? Skyler, we got bad news. What? We wouldn't have lost all the money if you got a permit. Oh, yeah, why don't you get well, a permit? shut up. It's your fault, too. Come oh, on. Goodness. Now we've got to start all over again. Yeah. He's strong. Kylie, do you think you can take it? I mean, can you build your... He's strong. Bicep is... the little ones, just count the big ones. How are we doing, Mo? Book solid for the next three weeks. Wild horses of Diomedes. Iron birds of Arcadia. And then Cerberus. 
And that pooch could be a tough one. Right. Haven't we got enough now to get back to Ithaca? Oh, it won't be long now. We're doing fine. Return engagement back here in Delphi at three times the dough. Hiya, boys. Hi. Hi. Now, wait a minute, here. We need that money to get back to Ithaca. Ah, there's no dough to be made in Ithaca. Nothing doing there but the king's wedding. Wait a minute. What king? Odious. Who else? And that dolly claims dropped out of the sky. Diane! We gotta get back to Ithaca. Hey, yeah. you ain't going no place. You guys got a permit? Oh, don't oh, start don't that again. That. We don't yeah, go for that, that anymore. Time. I do hope you see it our way. They do. Okay, Skyler, give him the money. I do hope you see it our way. They do. Skyler, get the money. I'm here to get the money. We go, we go, go Lovely, my dear. You'll be enchanting at our wedding feast. I wonder if you know how impatiently I await the day. Perfection. Ah, Hercules! You see, she no longer resists. The potion does its work well. Look what has been brought to me from Delphi! See who has the impudence to masquerade as a great Hercules. Those rogues I sentenced to the galleys. Wait, this doesn't look like the weakling I knocked to the floor. I'm going to find them and I'll crush them with my bare hands. Not now, Hercules. I need you here with me. Ulysses is gathering fresh forces. I need you here in Ithaca with me. Sire, I must destroy these upstarts who make mockery of the great name of Hercules! Hercules, stop! I'm your king! Where's Diane? Speak up! Yes, where is she? You'd better speak up. Hold! Oh, oh, now, now you, you shouldn't burst in here like this. She's... She's very happy. She's preparing for her wedding. Ah, uh, baloney. I don't believe you. She wouldn't marry you in her right mind. Hold it, fellas. Don't move another step. He's going to spring a trap door. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> Back up, fellas, before it's too late. He's got more tricks than a magician. <laughs> yeah, trap doors. You think we're stupid or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. The gods have sent them to me! Wait a minute, Hercules! Tomorrow you shall have your sport in the arena. Then all Ithaca will see who the real Hercules is. You will tear them to pieces in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Added entertainment for the wedding festivities. And when you finish with them, I'll feed their remains to my cats. Cats, he says. <laughs> cats are crazy about me. <laughs>
Hercules! Have sport with them and then cut them to pieces! Watch your chance and pop him in his mouth. Keep your pills. This time I won't need them. Hey, Skyler, a lamb to the slaughter. Somebody tell me when it's over. Hey, Mo, Skyler's still alive. <clears throat> Attaboy, Skyler. Give me my old one, too. like the great Hercules in history. History? Yes, history. Then what about you as a great man? If I do let you go, you are going to have to change completely. I will change. And you'll have Ulysses get his throne back. Yes, I swear it. Very well. I've built your reputation as a great man. You live up to it. Look, we're your friend. Wait a minute. He didn't do it. Oh. machine and don't spare the horsepower.
opener. again.
That's Nelson's victory at Trafalgar. That would be, um... 18-5. Let go, you big ape. Let go. So you thought it wouldn't work, eh? We were back in time. Way back. Yeah, galley jockeys for one of your crummy ancestors. And he's got the muscles to prove it. I'll but... handle this. Oh, now, now just... <laughs> On several occasions, Mr. Dimsel, you invited me to put up my dukes. Well, I... Is that invitation still open? No, 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 no. Don't touch that switch. Just don't stand there. Come on, boys. Get me out of here. Oh, please. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. Get me out. Oh! Oh! What were you up to? I, I didn't know Priscilla was married. Oh, try that, Mom. Oh, no, no, no. 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 You get me. Oh, there must be a key. Take it easy. Ah! Three. Oh! Oh, now. We get to no place fast. Wait a minute. I got it. The electric saw. Good idea. Yeah. Plug it in. Won't reach. Come on. Come on. Oh, fellas. Fuck <laughs> you up. This is, uh, I didn't know. I just. <laughs> 